You're still watching Ways. Now, today is National Simplicity Day. This day was born out of a need to be free from the complications of the world and to allow ourselves to just be simple. Celebrate life through simplicity by turning off your devices, getting rid of complicated things, and just let life be about living for a day. It's as simple as that. Can you live simple lives, ladies? Hmm. That's a tough one. Wait, so, okay. Because we're not going to go into it deeply, but I just okay. want to ask a question. Can you do without your phone for like a week? Without my phone? Yes. Do I, do I get to read books? Yeah. Yes, please. No gadgets. Yes, please. So you can do without phone? Totally. Absolutely. Totally. Phone, okay, so let me add phone, TV, no, like internet I, connectivity, everything. I can't do without but TV. But you can read, you can read hard books, hard, hard cover books. Uh, uh, yes, I would still. So no. you can't. Oh, Oti, how about you? No. Um, so I can live without the internet. I'm not sure about my phone just so if you talk about if you separate communication from data, so I can live without data. But in terms of communication, I think I still need phone calls. Um, but definitely read books. Um, I'm very comfortable in my own company. So I don't really need a lot. But yeah, okay. I'm not sure that I can go without phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> because you, you know how to talk for Africa. Since you're talking, oh yeah, tell us, what did you find for us in the news today? <laughs> okay, so, um, I mean, sort of following on from um, the show on Friday where we talked about statistics um, and then looking at, um, what's it called now, the ASU, um, our position on the U.S law with uh, 16,000 students who are at risk yeah. of being um, deported back to Nigeria. So, of course, part of the issues that we have currently because of the um, COVID-19 uh, pandemic is the fact that some schools have switched over to online um, classes only. Some schools actually were online classes only to begin with. Um, and the U.S. Department of Immigration um, who run the student and exchange visitor program have now said that all foreign students who are enrolled in online only classes um, must leave the United States. So they intend to deport about 16,000 students wow. um, or, or the alternative is for them to switch to schools where they will have to take, um, you know, in-person classes. Now, it's really sad to see. I mean, ASU is coming out, obviously, saying that the government has neglected the sector when it comes to education. And of course, I mean, education and health are two of the most neglected sectors within the country. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that play out now um, within uh, the, the realities of COVID. The fact that, um, sad to say, that we have all of our, or rather we have so many of our young people having to go just next door to the Republic of Benin, to Ghana, Forget people who are as far away as the United States or the UK, but we are now seeing that half of the foreign students in um, Ghana are Nigerians. Mm -hmm. So between uh, Ghana, the Republic of Benin, Togo, Cameroon, even going to Sudan, you know, for, for them to seek uh, education or tertiary education mm -hmm. is really, um, it's sad to hear. So the fact that people still you know, we still struggle with strikes here in Nigeria. So when ASU is even talking as well, sometimes you think you're part of the problem, right? But the reality of it is that the government has neglected the sector. We find that most of our ruling class will send their children abroad. And now we're left in this position. So we wait to see what will happen. Um, it's not conclusive yet, but basically these, children, these young people are all at risk of being deported. Of course, we know that going to study in the United States is not cheap. And the process of having to change schools and all of that is also yeah, quite complicated. Yeah. So yeah. we so, hope that our foreign office um, will be able to do a lot to help these um, these young people. We've seen the kinds of things that our citizens have gone through in China with this pandemic. So we hope that um, we, we, we hope so too. Team. All right. So okay. Isi, quickly, what did you find for us? Okay. Um, it looks like Sudan is um, making waves as well. Um, 
based basically on their education. But in this context, they are also making waves in rectifying or ratifying the law banning female genital mut mutilation mm. in the country. I think it's a fantastic one because things like that are, are being done in Africa, especially in Nigeria. We're still being practiced in northern uh, Nigeria and Middle Belt mm. and some part of uh, South South. Mm -hmm. So we, we um, for those who are caught doing this in Sudan, they are entitled to go to jail for about three years. Awesome, yes. awesome. Sounds mm. quickly. Okay, so I had to go with the entertainment wing because <laughs> like you know, I'm the queen of entertainment, <laughs> I love it. So um, recently, August Alsina, the, the music artist, I don't know if you guys know any of his songs. Mm. So um, he was in a radio interview where he pointed out that he dated Jada Pinkett, Will Smith's wife for mm. about two years, mm. four years, I think, uh, four years and a half, I think. So um, Jada Pinkett, in response to that, says that she's bringing herself to the round table alongside her husband. So last week they did, and it, it was the, the most viewed show in the history of Facebook. So now August, um, How come I didn't Jada see Pinkett, it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so Jada Pinkett officially mm -hmm. confirms that they did have an entanglement. That is, in case you're wondering, <laughs> that is where that trend, the entanglement, which is trending on Twitter all through the week, and that's where the word came out from. So she said it's not an affair it's mm -hmm. an entanglement that started off as a relationship and no will smith did not give august any permission to go ahead and have an entanglement entangle with her <laughs> so however somewhere in the story kk palmer the american actress comes in uh, into the drama saying that denying that she ever dated august so to um to everything August said, to everything but KK and uh, Jada Pinkett said, this is August's response to it, uh, that a tower of truth can never fail, only a tower of lies. My truth is my truth and it is mine to own. There is no right or wrong here. It is simply, it simply just is. And I make room and have acceptance for your thoughts and opinions, regardless if I agree or not. And you have that freedom to feel whatever it is you feel because when you're at true peace, all of the noise and chatter becomes that of a, a whisper. Okay. I think it's maybe not in a good place. It feels like a home wrecker right now. We will leave them mm. to resolve themselves. They will themselves. sort it out. It's, oh, so it's, <laughs> my mind anyway. is actually quickly in, in a nutshell. is also to follow up on what I had mentioned, I think maybe yesterday or Friday. Mm -hmm. um, like what Uti was saying about the most neglected um, um, Sector. sectors, health and um, education. education. So here I'm talking about health. Lagos State um, Government... Um, doctors, Lagos State doctors, rather, they're, war they're going to start a warning strike, a three-day warning strike. And this is coming off of the back of um, some disparity in terms of payment. And, you know, I mentioned it yesterday because I got a call from a medical doctor in the isolation center. So I'd like to just quote something the doctor says. That they were saying that the doctors working in the COVID-19 isolation centers mm -hmm. are still being owed two months' salary which have remained unpaid at the moment and they are also being unanimously or oh, sorry unceremoniously disengaged without recourse to their welfare the issue of shortage of doctors in the health facilities are yet to be resolved and no substantive um, action taken by the state government to resolve the issues that's um the the man um Shodipo, i think is one of the um maybe the chairman or something of the guild yeah the chairman mm. of the medical guild of lagos that's totally was discouraging one talking. so i mean we said it yesterday we're calling on the governor of lagos state um governor someone to look into this we do not want any drama with doctors at this moment definitely yeah. not we don't all right so we'll take a quick break when we return we'll be discussing simplicity <laughs> stay with us we'll be right back